All right, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make add-on cars for GTA 5 in story mode and now it's PDFR. I'm going to show you how to make them 5M ready. First thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and find the car that you're looking at. For me, I'm going to look at this 22 BMW M5 competition. Go ahead and download it. And as you can see, when I open the file, I can see the add-on. Here's the vehicle file and it's a DLC.RPF. Now, as you guys would know that the DLC.RPF files don't work for 5M, you have to go in and make them 5M ready yourself if you don't have someone else to do it for you. So in order to do that, you need OpenIV. This is going to be in the link in the description. Go ahead and download this. Once you have it downloaded, you should see this. Go ahead and click on the GTA 5 Windows. And here you go. OpenIV is where you can access and edit files of GTA. And it's also how you can view models and edit things for 5M. What I would recommend for you guys to do is go ahead and open up your GTA 5 directory. Wherever you have GTA 5 downloaded to, go ahead and open that up. For me, it's going to be in my Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then GTA 5. You guys aren't going to have this 5M folder here, but what you're going to want to do is go ahead and make a new folder called 5M or whatever you want it to be named. And within this folder is where you're going to be dragging in all your extra resources and all your extra files that you want to touch for 5M. Now with this folder being open, what I want to do is go. I want to go ahead and drag in my car. So my 22 M5, I'm going to drag this into my 5M file. And I can close this out. Now I'm going to open this up. And as you can see, it's a DOC to RPF. So I'm going to make a new file within here and name one stream. And then I'm going to name another one data so now with this being open i'm going to go up to my open iv open 5m find the file so it's going to be here 22 m5 and now i'm going to open up to dlc.rpf before we continue go ahead and open up edit mode and then now that you're here you click on data and here all these files here you go copy them and then drag them into your data file now, as you can see, I have the vehicle data here. This is where you can edit the handling, change the spawn code, etc., whatever you need for the car. Now we need to find the stream files. So go ahead and go back, open up X64, open up vehicle RPF, and as you can see here, these are going to be the stream files of the car. Go ahead and drag those into the stream. Now that you have the data and the stream files here, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and close out open iv you can close out all this too delete the dlc.rpf and then now you're almost done but you're not done yet now what you guys are going to want to do is go ahead and make a new file it's going to be a text document name it underscore underscore resource and then instead of text here at the end make it lua so underscore underscore resource dot lua Go ahead and click yes, and then you can go ahead and open this up. Now within this file, you can open it with Notepad++, so you can open it with Notepad or Visual Studio Code. I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. Now what you guys want to type here is just paste in this. This is going to be in the description down below. Go ahead and save it, close it, and now this vehicle is ready. So now what you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is go to your 5M resources folder for your server. And for me, I'm going to make a new folder. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it to be organized. Name it Vehicles. Make sure you don't forget to add the brackets in between it. So it should be brackets, vehicles, brackets. Open that up. And then I'm going to drag in my M5. There you go. Now what you want to do is go to your server config. Scroll down until you see the insures. Make a new line. So make sure you guys type out ensure brackets vehicles and then save that once you have that saved you can go ahead and restart your server now that your server started you can see that started resource 22 m5 and to double check i go to my resources and i see that my vehicles 22 m5 is started so now i'm gonna go ahead and load into my server go ahead and open up your v menu or whatever spawner that you use I'm going to go ahead and spawn it. Now, in order to get the spawn code of the vehicle, 
the spawn code is going to be the stream name so if you see 22m5.ytf if you remove the .ytf this 22m5 is going to be the spawn code name of the vehicle so i'm going to type in 22m5 and here you go the car spawned other than that if you guys have any questions you need any help go ahead and join my discord in the description down below but other than that you guys go ahead and have fun